my, my title is uh, director of cybersecurity. Uh, many many people think that I have a CISO role, uh, and it's not it's not far from it. But I don't I don't have uh, I mean I don't operate IT systems or things like that. My my entire focus is on access developing as secure devices and as secure software from a cybersecurity perspective. So I am I am. Uh, I am active in the uh, research and development phase of uh, of, uh, of Axis, and then you usually see those they take the devices and the systems and then they they run it in a cyber secure way. That that would be my explanation. We we had a kind of a not not a brutal awakening but an awakening around 2016. Uh, at, at that time, uh, there's a there was a researcher, a friendly researcher. Uh, who went under the name Bashis. He actually uh, found a vulnerability in Axis devices uh, where, where he, he also uh, developed a way to exploit it. And he could run arbitrary code as root on more or less any Axis device. That was, <laughs> we, we, we thought that we were working with cybersecurity at that time already, but that gave us the re real push forward to, to take take this on really seriously. Uh, actually, Bashis, he started to, to work with us recently. <laughs> uh, right. seven, seven years later, he's an employee of Axis, which is, which is great. <laughs> um, so we, we started to develop uh, a, a, a security development model that we internally call Axis Security Development Model. This has uh, 15 different activities that uh, it's like a toolbox for the development teams and IT to, to pick and choose from how, uh, what is applicable for, for their situation. Uh, so when we, when we felt enough confident about uh, what we have done with, uh, with our firmware or our Access OS software, uh, rather, uh, we wanted to to see if we could get more input. We have done we had done penetration tests. We have done in what we call internal security assessments. We had done threat modeling, uh, and more, more or less what we could do internally. So we wanted to see how can we get help from uh, from friendly researchers to actually actually test our uh, our software really good and uh, and. Uh, awarding them because if we go back to to bashes for example we didn't have any any way of awarding friendly researchers we only we only had a hall of fame on on our uh, on access.com which is not which is good but it's not it's not great yeah. 